Hi everyone, before we start I will need to remind you that our institution is not a school but it's a non-governmental organization founded by teachers uh, where we aim to provide teacher training uh, to the teachers in our region, mostly in the province, but well, we are spreading. And I would also like to add, unlike what Lee said about having a national curriculum and then a school curriculum, and what you said, having a national curriculum and then regional curriculums, I have to say we have a national curriculum and we cannot change that. So we have a national curriculum for every subject, for primary schools, secondary schools, vocational schools, we just have a national curriculum. Uh, so we have to follow that. We cannot make any changes to that, but we can make slight additions. So in the curriculum we have sustainability in most of the lessons, which I will explain later, but starting from the education year of 2023-2024, we are going to have two optional subjects, which is environmental education for primary schools and environmental education and climate change for secondary schools. Uh, the curriculums, the national curriculums for both of these lessons are ready, so I checked them. They are mostly based on sustainable development goals of the UN. And, well, the primary school one is a, actually just a simplified version of the secondary school one, but they are really good curriculums and although they are called optional, what we hear is that they are going to be uh, there for each school, so students will be required to select those lessons at least once during primary school and secondary school. And the Ministry of Education held the Education for Sustainable Development workshop uh, with cooperation, well, in cooperation with UNICEF in 2022, just after the COVID restrictions were lifted. Uh, we have the, the, most of the presentations of this workshop, but it was a huge workshop held in Ankara. And the main purpose of the workshop was uh, to add sustainability uh, in the curriculum and to raise awareness about the sustainable development goals, let's say. And now we have the Climate Change Action Plan, again in cooperation with the European Commission. And Climate Change Action Plan is, well, they have been working on the Climate Change Action Plan, let me say, since 2020, 2019, but they, there was a break with COVID. So they started again in 2021. And what they are doing at the moment is train the teachers about Climate Change Action Plan. And what is said is it is going to be, again, included in school subjects, optional school subjects. As I said, we have sustainability in many different subjects. We have some examples here. So sustainability is mainly in biology, history, engineering, chemistry, physics, and I totally forgot geography and social sciences. Sustainability in many ways is incorporated in the curriculums of these lessons. But then again, many other lessons have sustainability in, as part, as a, or either a small part or a large part of the curriculum. For example, language lessons, all language lessons have a team completely based on sustainability. And even art lessons have recycled, well, I will say reusing, not recycling, uh, in their curriculum for about a month every year. The Ministry of Education of Turkey has a project called Values Education. This is from pre-primary grade to the end of compulsory education. There are seven values, core values, and three of those core values are charity, cooperation, and responsibility. And the definitions of these all have a lot of sustainability stuff in them. Uh, this is mostly for economic and social sustainability, apart from environmental sustainability. And all these, these three actually were very useful right after the earthquake because the schools and the students could gather and help the earthquake area very fast. All schools in Turkey have to celebrate those days 
And although sustainability is mostly a new term, uh, one of these, the local product we, products week, uh, was being celebrated since I was in primary school, which is a long, long time ago. <coughs> what we do, is, I think it is in December, it's a week in December, and it's celebrated all around the country. Uh, the main purpose of the week is just to raise awareness about the local products and encourage the use of them. So students, starting from pre-primary grades, uh, are required to bring local products to school, whether they are food or whatever, uh, and then introduce them, share them with their friends. So the aim mostly is to raise awareness about local products and sharing and cooperation. And the other is World Environment Day, Forestry Day, Water Day, which is really becoming very important for us, and probably also for Spain. Uh, all the others are international days, and all schools are required to celebrate them, raise awareness about them, and do some activities about them. Uh, water Day, or methods of preserving water, has become very important because we are in great risk of having water shortage in the next five years. So the main thing is teaching students and also teachers and also households about how to preserve water, how to help the nature about that. Teacher training is also becoming very important. Since again 2020, the National Ministry of Education has started to, well, with the effects of COVID, they started to hold a lot of online teacher trainings, and one of them was sustainability in schools. This was aimed at teachers and school administrators. At the beginning it was online, as I said, because of COVID, but now it is not online. It's a real workshop and training course for all <coughs> teachers and school administrators. So, yeah, in this course they give information about international protocols like the Kyoto Protocol and all the others, sustainable development goals is again the basis of this training. Those are again the uh, initiatives of the Ministry of Education. As I said, most of the, well, all of the education in Turkey is centralized, so the National Ministry of Education decides on the initiatives and then we just follow them. Although we can have local initiatives, like we do as the NGO with the City Council, you will be informed about them on Monday. And what we do as Cookset is we provide environmental education to the students, again from pre-primary level to higher education level. Uh, we have monthly workshops with different experts with the cooperation uh, with the city council, we do field trips with the students, mainly to the national park, because you will see the national park tomorrow. Just a few of you have seen it before. Uh, it's a huge area with a lot of endemic plants and animals. I think that's all. Thank you.